Hi, I'm Malia, an artist and instructor at the Bainbridge Island Museum of Art, here with another Art in Action. Today we'll be creating faux batik. So we're doing faux batik as our project today, and batik, the history of, uh, originates in Indonesia where they would normally do this with wax. There's also parts of Africa and Southeast Asia and China that, that do this, and batik is really, really exciting because I think the magic of it is that you're using glue, you're creating these designs, you're adding the paint, and then afterwards when the glue, which would normally be wax, is removed by washing it in the sink, and it's pretty easy, you'll see the magic that is left behind in different types of patterns and colors. It's super fun and it's a little meditative, so I like it a lot. Okay, you've got your lovely t-shirt. I would highly recommend washing it and drying it really, really well before you use it for this project because sometimes t-shirts can shrink and it's nice to just not have that be an issue. What I'm gonna do here is get my lovely cardboard and insert it into the lovely t-shirt. You can decide where you want the design to be. I mean, let your creativity go wild. You can do one the sleeve, you could do both of the sleeves, you could do just the front, you can really do whatever you'd like. One thing that I've done that makes this process a little bit better is I have used tape on the back to secure it. But you know what, before I do that, I'm gonna create a border out of painter's tape. I imagine you could use any tape that you want, really, but I'm using painter's tape because that's what I got on hand. And I like to create a border just for fun. But again, you can tape off as much or as little of this as you really want to. Just make sure that you secure it to the t-shirt fabric pretty well. If you have any little bubbles, some of the glue might get under. And even if it does, who cares, right? But I like to try to keep it neat. So after I've taped off my area that will have the design, oops, went a little bit over here. There we go. Then I'm going to flip the t-shirt around and secure it. You don't necessarily have to do this step, but I like to because I've found that when I, after I've painted with the glue, sometimes the shirt will move around a little bit and cause it to, I don't know, get a little wobbly looking. So for me, I just like to keep my work nice and neat. Also remember that after you've glued it, you're gonna transport it to another location. And so not having this thing move around on the cardboard is nice. It just kind of helps reduce any sort of risk of smudging it or, you know, stuff like that. So now our surface is ready. We've got our cardboard inside, which will prevent the t-shirt from sticking to the other side. And this will be our lovely new canvas. Now we're ready to use the glue. This is the faux batik portion of this project. And again, traditionally this would be done in wax, but we are using our washable Elmer's School glue. So now you can just decide what kind of pattern you want. And for me, I'm feeling a little swirly, so I think I'm gonna do some swirls and dots. Go straight from the bottle and create whatever design feels good. Very good, and so you can make the swirls as big or as small as you want. But again, your design is uniquely yours. So just have fun, go crazy. I imagine that if you wanted to, you could also load up a paintbrush and paint this on if you wanted to. it. There it is. 
So we'll take this here, and since we nicely and neatly taped it off, we'll be able to put this somewhere where it won't be disturbed, and it'll be about eight hours or overnight for this to dry. So it's a good project where you'll start it one day, just let it set for a while, and then we'll meet back after it's dried. Okay, so now I've got my paint, and highly recommend that we, that we use acrylic paint for this. I'm just gonna pour out a little bit onto my palette. You can use a palette like this if you want, or you can use just a paper plate or a piece of cardboard if you've got that. And again, have fun mixing some colors up. See what you can come up with. That's kind of cool. I'm gonna create some, I don't know, I'm gonna try to make some pink, I guess. We'll see. We can see that our glue is dry here and that everything is pretty crusty to the touch. So we can use really any color that we want. I'm gonna just make pink. And here is my beautiful masterpiece. Now, don't forget that when everything is dried, we are going to take this to the sink and we're going to soak it and scrub it so that everything here that has the glue will end up showing the color of the t-shirt. So here it is and now we wait. Thanks for watching. Feel free to share any work inspired by this project. Until next time, it's art in action.